awesome model of the solar system. It helps us understand the incredible planets and the way they orbit around the Sun. Let's start with the closest planet to the Sun, Mercury. Mercury is the smallest planet and it's the closest one to the Sun. It gets really hot during the day and freezing cold at night. Mercury is also the fastest planet in the solar system, whizzing through space at almost 47 kilometers per second. Next up is Venus, the second planet from the Sun. Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system because of its really thick layers of gas called an atmosphere surrounding it. It's like a giant blanket that traps the heat. Venus can reach temperatures up to 475 degrees Celsius. It's like the hottest oven in the solar system. If you were to walk on Venus, you'd need some serious protective gear because the atmosphere is so thick and heavy, you'd be crushed under its weight. This is our home planet, planet Earth. Earth has the perfect conditions for life with everything we need to survive. Our atmosphere protects us from the sun's harmful rays, gives us oxygen to breathe, and keeps everything just at the right temperature. 75% of Earth's surface is covered by ocean, and its land has billions of species of plants and animals. Next is Mars, the red planet. It's called the red planet because of its rusty colored soil. It's really rocky and dusty. Scientists are studying Mars to see if maybe humans could live there one day in the future. Can you imagine that? Maybe one day you'll have a friend on Mars. Now we're at the biggest planet in our solar system, Jupiter. Jupiter doesn't have a solid surface like Earth. It's a giant ball of swirling gases with massive storms. The biggest storm is called the Great Red Spot and it's been raging for hundreds of years. Look at Saturn with its beautiful rings. They're made of ice, rocks and dust. Like Jupiter, Saturn is made of gas and it's so light that if you put it in water, Saturn would float. It's like a giant space bubble. Next is Uranus. It's a freezing cold planet which spins on its side as it orbits the sun. Can you imagine walking on a planet that's tilted sideways? You'd have to be careful not to fall over. The last planet in our solar system is Neptune, the furthest planet from the sun. It's a very dark and windy place with freezing gusts roaring at supersonic speeds. One of Neptune's moons called Triton is the coldest object in the solar system. Have you ever wondered how all these planets stay in place and don't float away? Well, it's all thanks to the sun and its powerful gravity. Just like how a magnet pulls things towards itself, the sun's gravity pulls everything in the solar system. Each planet has its own path or orbit around the sun. Take Earth, for example. It moves around the sun in a big circle and takes about 365 days to complete the journey. And that's what's called a year. Wow, wasn't that an incredible journey through the solar system? We learnt so many cool facts about the planets. Did you know that our solar system is just one tiny part of the universe? There's so much more out there to discover. There could even be other planets like ours with their own unique features. See you next time. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a video. 
And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Learning with Katie for even more fun and educational content. See you in our next video.